question directly. Who do you say that Jesus Christ is? Now, if we agree with Muslims that Jesus was only a prophet, no problem. If we agree with Mormon that Jesus was an angel, no problem. If we agree with Jehovah's Witnesses that Jesus Christ was only an angel, no problem. If we agree with the New Age movement, Freemasonry, spiritualism, that Jesus was only a moral teacher, no problem. But the moment we step out of our comfort zone and we say to you, my Muslim friend, agnostic, atheist, religion, hold on, Jesus Christ is not a prophet. He is the son of the living God. Yes, one of his names, title was a prophet, but the Bible said he is better than Moses, he is better than the angel in Hebrew, he is better than Aaron, the covenant, the uh, ironic um, priesthood of Aaron. He is even better than Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Why? Because he is the Son of God. He is great because he is the Son of God. He is great because he has passed through the veil. He is great because he can be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. With my due respect, we don't believe that. We don't believe. By the way, don't you know the Quran said that Muhammad was the first Muslim? The Quran said Muhammad was the first Muslim. Don't judge my sister. Don't judge my sister. You are a liar and a father of life. You are a liar and a... don't judge my sister. Look at you. Shame on you. No, 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 no. You see, what we... Oh, okay, okay. Will you allow me to answer your question? Will you allow me to answer your question? You see, brother, brother, will you allow me to answer your question? Astaghfirullah. God forbid we don't believe God had sex with Mary and Jesus was born. No, Jesus Christ was there before he was incarnated in the flesh. Before he became a baby, he was one with the Father in heaven. That's why in, in, in John chapter 17 he says, Glorify thou me, glorify thou me with thy own glory which I have with thee before the world was. Before the foundation of this world, glorify me with the same glory which I had with thee before the world was. Pray to God to kill you. 
He paid your fine. He paid your fine for breaking his moral law, his commandments. He paid your fine for breaking his moral law, his commandments. We broke God's law. If I'm in court, if I'm in court, listen, if I'm in court, if I'm in court, I used to be a very naughty boy. I used to be a very naughty boy. No, no, I'm not sure. Yeah. Worse than that, worse than that, worse than that, worse than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I get found guilty by the judge, and if someone comes in, yeah, and says, and says, judge, I'm willing to pay that man's fine for breaking his law, legally by law, I'm free to go. The judge says you're free to. That's what Jesus did for you. So you wouldn't go to hell today. That's what Jesus did for you. Jesus paid your fine. Part. You can't pay it. I pay your fine, wrong part. Yes. I pay You've been sentenced to death already. How much you need? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? I'll give you the gospel in three minutes. Right. You know, and I know, there were two people. There was Jesus in the middle, and there was two people on the cross at the side of him. <laughs> One said to him, "If you are the Son of God, like you say, if you are the Son of God, like you say." Come off that cross and save yourself. Okay, what did Jesus say to him? The other guy said to him, we deserve the punishment we get. This man is innocent. Then he said to me, then he said to Jesus, Lord, he had his teeth smashed out for you. He had a broken heart. He had his jaw broken for you. Then Jesus said to this man, today you shall be with me in paradise. I want to know what good deed he did to enter paradise. That's what I want to know. I want to know what did God, what did this man do to gain God's Jesus to have the authority to say to him, today you criminal shall be with me in paradise. I want to know what could, what did he do? What did he do to criminal? He said, this man is innocent. We deserve the punishment we get. You have not kept. You want to go for you want to go for Moses' law? 630 commandments? Yes. Okay. Have you ever had hatred? No, no. Have you ever had hatred? No. Never? No. Never hated anyone? No, no Christians or no. Ex different Muslims? Shaitan. You hate Shaitan. You hate Shaitan? That's good, yeah. So you never had, you never had hatred? No. You ever stolen? You ever stolen? No. Shaitan. You never stolen? I don't Have you ever stolen? That's a fake smile. You see, Have you ever stolen? Yeah. God says you're a thief. That's a Have you ever lost after a woman? Yeah, God, Jesus said you, you committed adultery in the heart. No, God sees no, hatred as murder. No, 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 wait, don't, don't, so no, God judges you no, on four no, commandments no, today. No, 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 no
Look, look, if I'm in court, I've told you before, if I'm in court, how can I plead to the judge? Well, I've just been sentenced to life imprisonment, right, with a £100,000 fine, and I have to pay the fine, I have to pay the fine to substitute the death sentence. And if you come into the courtroom, Right, right. Right, this brother comes in the courtroom and says, Judge, I'm willing to pay the fine, even though he's guilty. The judge can legally say you're free to go. That's what Jesus did for you 2,000 years ago. We broke God's law. Jesus paid our fine. Jesus paid our fine. He stepped in as a, pus as a substitute, brother, and paid our fine for breaking his moral law. I know, I know what happens when you believe that. Then what happens, he'll commute your death sentence, dismiss your case, and grant everlasting life as a free gift. You can't earn salvation. It's by grace we are saved, through faith, and that not of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, as any man should roast. Well, that then. Death has been abolished. Hallelujah. Death has been abolished. Death has been abolished. Death, death has. No. Past has been abolished. Death has been abolished in Jesus. Death has been abolished through the gospel. Death has been abolished through Jesus. He has paid. He passed through death, chasing death for every man. He passed through death, chasing death for every man. And now in his majesty and glory, he's now seated on the right hand side of our great high priest. <laughs> I did, yes, you're right. I know. I know, but he's forgiven me. He's forgiven me. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Akid? Benjol, push it. Yeah. He's paid our fine. We're free to go. We broke God's law. Jesus stepped in and paid our fine. Even though we're guilty. Yes. You're fine for breaking his law. You're fine for breaking his law. For lying, stealing, committing adultery, falling in and blaspheming. He paid your fine. And when we accept that in our hearts and repent from idols, which is idolatry, you, you, you worship idolatry. Idolatry is where we bow down and worship a God what suits our sins. God said, I shall not worship any other God before me. And you worship a God which is suitable to your sins. You want to come here, brother? You're right. No, I'm sorry. What's that, sorry? I didn't attack you. No, we didn't. I fancy her. I like her. I want her. I cry for her in my dream. I want to do whatever with her. Because you can do more with a Muslim. No, 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 no. I can do with anyone I like. I love her. You can do more with a Muslim, no with a Christian. Yeah, yeah, man. Okay, this is not Saudi Arabia, this is England. No, no, you are Shia, you are Irani, that's why Muta, you don't love. Yes? No, you do Muta, we don't do Muta. I will tell her Muta. I have this choice. Then you're going to be on the ground. No worry. You will be on the ground. No worry. I'm telling you. Go ahead, brother. What's that mean? What does it mean? Why am I walking around with this? Why am I walking around with this? I want my darling. God is a spirit. I mean, worship him in spirit and in truth. You are like your prophet. He put on human flesh, but he's still God. Exactly. He's still God. No, Muhammad slept with Aisha at the age of nine. Why didn't Muhammad take Aisha as his daughter? Yes. Why didn't Muhammad take Aisha as his daughter? At the age of nine, 24 years old, sleeping with nine years old. That proves that Aisha herself. Yes, sir, yeah. She couldn't have periods after that. Even nowadays, even nowadays, when they grow up, they're going to have to child marriage. What's that, sorry? When they grow up, when they become elders, they will have to child marriage. Eight children, when they become elders. What, when you mean, they become nine? Nine. Even at three, we say that later on, 
When you grow up, we want to, we want them in our For our son. Yes. We're trying to justify something what God calls criminal. Yes, criminal. God said your prophet is a criminal. That's what it was. And he's in hell. I've told you that a hundred times. He's in hell. Yeah. Do you know why he's in hell? Because he rejected the truth. That's why he's in hell. Not because of the Muslim, because he rejected the truth. He wanted his own truth, which is idolatry. You serve your own God, which is idolatry. Idolatry is where you shape a God. But God says, Thy shall have no other gods before me. And idolatry is where we shape a God to suit our sins. Or well, doesn't mind pornography. Doesn't mind lying, stealing. But that's not the God you and I have got to face on judgment day. The God you and I have got to face on judgment day is a holy God and fire. I see what happens. I've met someone personally who've gone to hell. I have, yes. Ian McCormack. First of all, you'll go to hell as a honeymoon period. Then you'll be there for a thousand years. Then you'll be resurrected and you'll be thrown to the lake of fire. Lake of fire. You'll be going to the lake of fire. And you know, the reason why you'll go there, the reason why you'll go to hell and the lake of fire is because you reject, you haven't got a clean heart. Your heart is deceitful above all things and desperate and wicked. God says that there are just men on the earth that does good and sin not. God says that there are just men on the earth that does good and sin not. You're trying to tell me you're a good person. I'm asking you, are we on the right path? You're on the path to doom. God is good. Anybody? If you die today, where would you go? Heaven or hell? If you die today, where would you spend heaven or hell? Yes. I believe. Yeah, come on. I will go in heaven. I want to count. I want to count. Come on, is up there. What makes you special? The problem, you, take, you, keep, you keep telling me down here that Muhammad's in heaven. I tell you he's in hell, so what makes you special? I keep telling you, I keep telling you he's in hell, where you're heading. I keep asking you questions. What makes you think you, what makes you think you're going to heaven? I ask you, have you ever lied? Have you ever lied? You're a liar, you're a thief, you're a adulterer, you're a blasphemer, and you're a murderer, and you've got to stand before God on Judgment Day. Would you be found innocent guilty on a day of judgment if God judged you today on five commandments? We can go to 613 commands you want. Would you be found innocent guilty? You're judged already. If he has a son, has life. If he does not have the son, the wrath of God abideth not. No, 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 I told you. No, no, no. I asked you a question. What makes you think? What makes you think you're going to heaven? The reason why you won't. The reason why you won't repent. The reason why you won't repent from your sins is because you know it's a cost. You know it's a cost. Jesus says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. I am the light of this world. Him who follows me shall walk in darkness. You're in the dark." And the reason why you reject the truth because you, you know it's a cost. That's the reason why you reject the truth. You know it's a cost, that's the reason why. Go and have a chat, bro. No one comes to the Father except through me.